Mother, you take everything so personally. It felt personal. All Ross did was postpone his candidacy announcement. He had his secretary call me. Okay, so he was busy. Oh, I think it's just because I made a fool of myself last night. Mom, it's not like you hog-tied him and dragged him into your bed. Blake, please. Did you? <laughs> I just told him that I hated the way things ended with us. Oh, how brazen. <laughs> and that I'd like to get together again. That's what you call throwing yourself at a man? No, I did. That was before. I mean, after I... Never mind. Anyway, he felt uncomfortable and I was embarrassed. Oh, Mother, I've done so much worse. I really think you're making too much out of this. So why is he avoiding me? I... I'm sorry I had to cancel my press conference, but I got caught in this endless meeting. I know how hard it can be to extricate yourself. Uh, no problem. Good, then I'd like to reschedule. How's tomorrow looking? Uh, yeah, I, I, we could do that. Uh -huh. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Ross candidacy will be buried on the third page of the metro section. I'd wait a while, maybe even a week. A week? Why wait? Eve Guthrie. Oh, she's right. She's the American uh, doctor who was detained in Cambrai. Nick is interviewing her today on the air. <sighs> Yeah, it should be front page news tomorrow. That's a big story. All right, all right. I guess, uh, I guess we wait. Good. I think it's best if you wait. I have some calls to make. Okay. Mike, thank you for the suggestions. She's very bright. Yes, she is. All right, let's get going. Uh, <clears throat> what's the matter? Russ, I can't work on your campaign anymore. This long time ago. What? It's last night? Last night? No. That's why you're not going to work on no, the campaign? No, not at all. And I want you to know that I think you'll make a great senator. It's just... So what's the problem? The problem is that I own an interest in this television station. I'm sorry. With everything that's been going on lately, I didn't even give that a thought. Well, I have been thinking about it, and I've, I've got to deal with the ethics issue here. If I help you in your case... Oh, no, 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 no. If you do that, Leo Flynn will be screaming bloody murder. Yeah. And it's going to jeopardize the license. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry I put you in this spot. You didn't put me here. I put myself here. Probably pushing again. No, Holly. Now, last night... Oh, let's, let's just say we were out of sync. Yes, our timing was just off. Yeah, That's I mean, we could just... Erase it from the calendar. I can do that. <laughs> Ray, it's done. You know, Ross, you have such a smooth way of dealing with things. Yeah, don't I, though? Now, when can I reschedule this announcement of mine? Uh, yes. You know, I think you should get another media consultant. I don't know if I need one right at the moment. Why don't you consider Blake? Blake? Yes. She's been very helpful to your campaign, don't you think? I don't know, Holly. That's a rather interesting idea. <laughs> you two have been getting on a lot better than you used to. Yeah, I, I, I guess we are. And mm -hmm. last night when she was so drunk, I think she was appreciative that I got her home safely. Yeah, let me <laughs> think about this for a while. Senator Marler has a rather discordant ring, don't you think? Uh, mother doesn't think so. Uh, your mother's been known to be wrong about men before. Yeah, runs in the family. He's still fighting her off? I don't know, and I don't care. I've decided to stay out of Mother's personal life. Interesting decision. Say to say hello. I'm not armed. I, uh, thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. If you're okay. How do I look? Well, you did have a lot to drink last night. I was worried. Were you? Like, do you find it hard to believe? Only a little. What do you really want? I told you why I was here. You know, you were pretty bad off last night. I was concerned. <sighs> yeah, right. Like, why is that so hard for you to believe? Listen, Alan Michael, I'm here alone. Everyone is, is at this interview. Just cut to the chase. You want something. That's why you're here. It's only partly true. Oh, so it's about the opening for the Board of Operations at, uh, Director of Operations at Spalding? Yeah, the position's already been filled. 
Yeah, not by your candidate. Right again. Still on top of things, aren't you, Blake? Oh, you know me. Well, and you also know who got the job, right? Maureen. And you're not too happy about it, are you? Job should have been yours. I know. You miss me, don't you? Well, you are a tough act to follow. <laughs> Maureen had a lot of questions this morning about our media contacts. And you didn't have any answers. Well, I told her that's what you used to do. We were a good team, weren't we? Were being the operative word. Okay. Well, I did just drop by to see how you're doing, see if you're okay. Oh, Michael, wait. I'll give you one for old time's sake. You want Maureen gone, right? So just overload her with work. Oh, that doesn't bother her. No, busy work, time-consuming, meaningless jobs. That'll really push Ed's buttons. I thought you liked them. I do like them. I love them. But if Maureen had to choose between her job and Ed, she'd choose Ed. Why are you telling me this? Because Ed and Maureen have the only good marriage I've ever seen. I bet her job's getting in the way. I do miss you. <laughs> and I owe you one. getting involved with him again, are you? Why do you care? I know what you've gone through because of him. And that bothers you? He's married, Blake. Stop teasing yourself. Why? Because I'll get burned again? Don't worry about me, Ross. I prefer teasing other people. All right. You do love to tease, don't you? Only when I have to. Ah, uh, do you have any aspirin? Still hungover? Oh, that's right, you were there. Yes, like that was me. Oh, yeah, now, oh, it's all coming back to me. Oh, I really tied one on, didn't I? You were pretty drunk, yeah. Ah, uh, <laughs> just remembering. Ooh, I was pretty out there. I even started coming on to you. What a revolting thought that is. Yeah, I'll say you're not even my type. No, no offense. None taken. I've noticed, though, that uh, with your, in spite of your obvious disinterest in me, you've been very helpful in terms of my candidacy, I mean. Thank you. I find that to be puzzling. I suppose. Why do you think I'm helping you? You tell me. Well, you could certainly use some sound campaign advice. Oh, so you thought you'd just jump right in then? What can I say? I'm just a giving kind of girl. Blake, you're making me nuts. Why don't you give me a straight answer for once, all right? What have you two got your heads together about? Oh, Frank, I really... Why have you suddenly become so interested in helping Ross? Is that a capital crime? Just tell me one thing. Is Roger at the bottom of this? Oh, please, you never lay off him, do you? Well, the thing is, Blake, he doesn't make a secret of his feelings about my candidacy. What does it have to do with me? Are you saying he has not asked you anything about Ross's campaign? Yes, as a matter of fact, he just did. Uh-huh. And I didn't say a word about it. So then why all the advice? Did it ever occur to you that I think you'd make a good senator? If you ever learn how to market yourself. I think I've done pretty well so far. You know, when you announce your candidacy, you're going to have to have all the answers. He's the district attorney, Blake. He's had a lot of experience at answering questions. Okay. In one line, tell me what your candidacy is all about. <coughs> My campaign is not about one-liners. Well, it better be. If you can't give a 20-second bite on your campaign, then you won't even have one. Look, I think I am going to run a very good campaign. That's your first problem. You don't know how badly you do need help. Business.